What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install RainX custom firmware for your Nintendo Switch. Now, this is using the latest firmware version 6.0 at this current point in time for the Nintendo Switch. So this does actually work. I've tested it, I've been using it, it works perfectly fine. So RainX has actually brought out an update, I think two days ago, I'm not entirely sure, that actually allows you to do certain features such as wake on sleep, for 6.0 because I know that was broken and some other cool features as well. So today I'm going to show you if you don't already know how to do this, how to install the custom firmware. So all of the links will be in the description below. I'll have the release official Rainex thread from GBA temp. This is basically where you want to go if you want to find out if there's updates. He's got a GitHub page that you can also access and see if the updates have been applied to his GitHub as well because it's pretty much all on there. He has a discord for support. He has a guide. He has pretty much everything on here. Uh, also the toolkit as well, which is basically um, going to be a separate video. This custom firmware pretty much has everything you need to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead onto the second link and download Rain X version 1.7. Now, if this does get updated, I'll be sure to update the links in the description below as well. But again, in this point in time is version 1.7. The next thing you're going to want to download is Tegra RCM GUI. Now, this is basically to inject the custom firmware. There are some other methods such as your Android smartphone and also some offline methods, but I'm just going to be using this as it's pretty simple. So you have a choice. You can download the installer MSI or the portable version. In this tutorial, I am using the portable version. So once you have them both downloaded, simply extract them to your desired location. And then we're going to pop our SD card into the computer from our switch. And as you can see, we're on the route here. So all you're going to want to do is simply go inside of the Rainex folder find the rain x folder alone not the bin file and simply drag and drop it to the root of your sd card so it should look a little something like this once that's done we can go ahead and pop our sd card back into our nintendo switch and shut the console down now what we're going to do is hook the cable up to our switch so it's a usb a to type c simply plug that in and make sure your console is turned off now we're going to open tegra rcm gui.exe and you'll be prompted with a window that looks like this so as you can see rainx.bin has actually been automatically detected through their software but if rainx doesn't actually get detected in the favorites you can go ahead and press this button and then find it manually and select it that way also a quick note using tegra rcm if you haven't already used this on windows before make sure you install the driver so if you press this button it will actually say whether the driver is installed or not if it isn't installed be sure to install it because it, this will not work whatsoever so now that's out the way all we're going to want to do is simply press and hold the volume up and power button at the exact same time until you see a green button that looks like that and it will say recovery mode okay waiting for user action now all we're going to do now is simply double click on the payload and boom there we have it you should now see rain x loading on your nintendo switch with a little anime character that's basically how you know that it has worked i currently can't capture the screen because it won't let me for some reason but i'll take a picture and show you what it looks like on the screen you should see current system version 6.0.0 rain x that's how you know it's worked and if you also have the homebrew launcher installed you can go ahead and open the album and that should work perfectly fine as well if you do have any questions or you need help with anything feel free to comment on this video i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible i hope i've helped in a way comment rate subscribe and all the good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace